Hello and welcome back to match day 3 of the Rekev League. Today I am going to play against Dave and his High Elves. So yeah, that's going to be interesting I think. So far Dave has unfortunately been un unable to win a match and he's taken some annoying losses pro uh, as far as I remember. Uh, there was, was at least one death plus um, I think maybe a permanent injury, I'm not entirely sure on that. but. His team is a little bit beat up. I am missing two players myself, but just linemen, so nothing too major. And yeah, um, we'll be doing Skype again, of course, so we'll be right back once I get him into a call. See you in a moment. Okay, so I've resumed my recording now as well, and for everyone that is watching on my end, uh, as I've mentioned, we set up Skype again, and so now we're going to get to the match. So you should get some inducements, I think. Well, I went ahead and clicked start, and I see that you have two journeymen. Yep, and that does put my team value up to 1190, and I can't buy anything, so I assume you will... G oh, you've got three journeymen. <laughs> yep, and 180k. Uh, it's... Enough for a wizard if you want it. That's what I was afraid of. The question of if well, you, you will take to, it. I was say, you don't have to worry too much about the wizard. Because I'm looking at star players. Oh, for 180? Is there... Yep. Uh, Soren Hightower is quite a thrower. Safe as long throw. as you don't get uh, Elro Sidewinder, I'm, I'm okay. Well, I do like him as well. The hypnotic gaze is just... it's awesome when you have it for yourself. But I think I'm going to get Dolphar Longstrider Stride, and I think I'll go ahead and, since this is the last game of the season, dip into the little bit of savings I have and get a Blood Babe. Okay. So what does... Dol what can Dolphar do? What are he his skills? is a very powerful runner, realistically. He has pass interception or pass block. He has kickoff uh, return. Um, of course, he has dodge. Yeah. Um, he has that Hail Mary, so he can just throw the ball and get rid of it like I like to do. Okay. I just use him as the quintessential elf. It's nice that they introduce the, the star players a little bit um, extra when you have them with you. I think he might be half elven because he can show up for the humans as well. No, he shows up for the Bretonians. Bretonians, okay. Dang, I keep it wrong. What do I, I mean, know? that might be it, or it might just, might just be that they don't have enough star players for the Bretonians, so they just added another one. He's, so he's not very big on blocking, but he is basically a really good thrower. Yeah, he's got kick as well. That's annoying. Yep. Diving catch. Okay, okay, yeah, he's either a thrower or a catcher, depending on how you want to use him. But only armor value 7. I, like I said, I may be wrong about what teams he can be on. I really don't know. I haven't used star players a whole lot because I usually like to get a wizard or babes and stuff like that more. At least with the teams I'm playing so far. We'll... I don't know. Maybe that'll change at some point. And I, I, I don't get so many inducements very often that I can actually take a good star player. Well, with my peasant team, I bought the stadium upgrade that makes star players uh, 50k less. Mm -hmm. So, with them being so weak, I usually ended up with so many inducements anyways, I figured, what the heck. So the Mighty Zug made many appearances in the early days. <laughs> okay, so... We're going heavy on the line today. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, your line is completely 
loners. <laughs> oh, oh yes. If they're going to get hit, or why care? They're borrowed. Yep, makes sense. Why you use your neighbor's lawnmower? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, let's just just for safety, so that I can get the blitz that I want to. Oh, I do still have one lineman here in the back. Um, yeah, let's just... Just in case you get a blitz, let's just do it like this. It's not unheard of. It happened to me against Rob in our uh, in the last match day. He got a blitz in the first turn and ruined my Did offense pretty heavily. <laughs> Didn't you get a blitz as well? Uh, yes, but at a point where I really couldn't make use of it, I think. Because my it was at the end of the first half or something like that. So we both we both get a reroll. The touchback is a nice start. Well, really lucky there. Yeah, I gambled a little bit and had little red X's. One, all the way around the corner there. Yeah. I was hoping to put it right there in the corner. So let's see, I do have Mighty Blow on minus one, and hopefully I can make some use of that. Well, if this game goes like any of the other ones, my armor's irrelevant. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I have never seen so many KOs in games. I think I had nine against, uh, against, uh, Srab. Okay, that does sound, uh... A bit unfortunate. I'm looking forward to season two. Oh yes, and I'm really happy that you will be able to continue. I, after I read your post, I was assuming that you couldn't, but it's nice to hear that you 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 can. I'm in the process of probably relocating. Because, but of I'm work? also in uh, a little bit of that and some other things. But I'm also in the process of purchasing the computer that my partner uses mm -hmm. he got a new one so I'm going to try to purchase the old one and then I'll have to uh, get my own version of Blood Bowl yep but then the screen name will be my ID for once yeah so you will have to use a new team because of that yeah well I mean, it happened. Yeah, and since we do, uh, we are restarting basically, not restarting, we are ending things after the first three matches it's not too bad, I think. Uh, it's only th a three-man match head start. Um, and there will be four other teams that have basically no... Uh, that have no uh, matches yet. Oh, uh, loner on loner action. Oh, yes. I was debating whether violence. or not I wanted to go for the both down, but um, nope. Not doing that. I I'll use that from time to time. Yeah, sometimes it, it, it can make a lot of sense, but I don't really want to now. Um, so where do I go? I think let's go right there. So it's, I'm really happy to hear that even though you, you lost your first matches, you're having a lot of fun so far. I think that's... Oh, of course. It's, it's a competitive setting, and I at least do have a competitive mindset when I go into these games. I would really like to win. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's good to know that people are still having fun even when there's losses involved and stuff like that. It can get very frustrating for some people. I know nobody in our league, apparently, because everyone is ha at least... From their statements, having a lot of fun, and I hope that it's true. <laughs> Not that I doubt somebody, but it's it's. I've played in a lot of leagues, and I've get a, gotten frustrated a lot myself. So I'm happy that it doesn't seem to happen so far with us. Let's see if we can go ahead and keep him in there a little bit. Yeah, the surf is the surf possibility. Let's call it that is. Not so nice. So I assume we will get a decent amount of touchdowns in this match. Well, it would be a nice change of pace for me. Let's see. A player with leap is allowed to jump two squares 
make an agility roll yep. with no modifiers. It's a three plus roll with agility four. So tackle zones don't matter. Exactly. That's why leap is in extremely annoying because you need to stack your defense and see where he could leap so that he has to dodge afterwards still. So I have something to share with you a little off uh, this game. Okay. You remember the human team we played? That you played against with your rats? Um, with me? Yes, yes, I think so. I had the one lineman who had the agility four. Yep. Did he get sure another hands one? And stuff. No, but I gave him pass block. And yesterday while I was playing, I was able to move him right into an interception. Ah, that's that's always nice. <laughs> He's becoming quite a nice little uh, utility player. Yeah, uh, sounds like it. And pass block can be very annoying. It's a it's a skill you don't see very often, and I think that's because there is a lot of bash, and bashes usually don't um, pass as much. But it can be very useful, I think, against the right teams, especially. Well, I found that it's pretty cool as a secondary effect that if you throw the ball anywhere near him, he gets three free movement. Yep, that as well. Um, I'm not sure on the rules, though. Does he have to take dodges if he moves through tackle zones like that? Yes. I remember something like that, and that made the skill a lot harder to use. I, well, I mean, he has an agility of four, so... He can get away from most people. Yep. Okay, so I, I'm not in love with the setup here right now. Um... And I don't really want to force things again. I tried that against Rob, and that backfired pretty spectacularly. Uh, so let's be a little bit smarter about things. Because I would like to get the touchdown with a war dancer, but uh, that's a leap and a pass and stuff like that. And elves do intercept on a five plus, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I might as well do it like this. He's got agility five. What's a little dodge among friends? Yep. And I haven't blitzed yet. Oh. Ow. Well, at least it's not yep. nothing too major. Okay, and I think I've talked about it with Rob in our last match as well. Why did you use the apothecary there? To keep him in the game. But it's only a badly hurt. Shouldn't you try to... Well, as, considering that it's the team's last match, probably, it's not... Unf not really a bad choice, but it, it surprised me a little bit. <laughs> I, that's what I thought was, if I'd never get to play the team again, I then was, there's I no real long... That. Yeah. Uh, but the other aspect is, is, I have the capability of becoming a numerical advantage over you. Yep. That is so I'm, true. I'm going to try to make that a strategy. Okay, so I do need to leap here. I think I could dodge as well, but you know what? Actually, we do have the dodge reroll, so it's probably better. Especially if it works. But I I can't defend my player as much as I'd like. So you will get, you should get a two dice, assuming the dodges don't fail. Okay, so to get back to my point that I was trying to make, or going to ask, and then we got sidetracked, I'm trying to not forget stuff again. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's been happening. Um, I did post uh, or introduce the league on Reddit, and we did get some more interested uh, players. And so far, three of the four that have um, that um, posted initially have um, joined the group. 
So they will be um, joining us next season, and we're up to seven players, so we need one more. I still hope that the fourth one will answer on my message on Reddit. If not, we will have to find another one, but then we can go with eight players, and that is really cool, I think. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. Does he even have dodge? He doesn't even have dodge. <laughs> even better that he didn't fail one. With loner, you don't really want that to happen. I believe this is what I... Nope, I've still got... Out of hell with it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's good enough. I was about to say, good enough for me. <laughs> I've made worse plays. Why didn't you just... Uh, well, it would have put at least one player of yours on the sidelines if you had done that, but why didn't you just um, put one... Basically, on the 14 and on the 10. Well, I thought that... I have two guys touching him that I outnumbered you for bonuses. So apparently I don't understand how it works. Um, yeah, you need players that are no tackle zones to give a, to give an assist. So since both of your guys are next to my ward answer, they don't give assists. I thought it just all stacked up. Uh, no, you only... Get... Well, you need guard to give the assist if, if there's no other players involved. Or if there are other players involved like that. So your... Who is it? The Baron of ba of the Bayou, for example, would have only given an assist if he had guard, because then it doesn't matter that my ward answer is next to him. Oh, well, it didn't come out perfect. It did a thing, so I'm all right with it. Yep, at least I do have to try and pick up the ball again. Not completely unheard of to work, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Yeah, you don't even have to go for it to score. Yeah, but it still depends on me making all my rolls, and I do want to do some other stuff first. Okay, that's good. Or do I maybe just want to do that? Um, okay, let's try to make this uh, interesting. I hope. Depends whether or not I get this. It's good enough. Oh. Good thing that was the star player and bad at the same time. Oh boy. I was trying to get rid of him. I didn't necessarily want to kill him, though. Ah, oh, well. I'm just part of the game. Yep. That is true, though. Okay. Let's see. I could still screw this up, in theory, because I want to throw, and I might fail. Well, I... We're going to require a lot of ones. Yep, at least one, and I got it. And there's the double one. <laughs> Only elves, man. Yep. Alright. And I think that's why I usually don't necessarily like taking... Um, star players because you for one if they get injured they are out you can't use an apothecary on a star player even if you have even if you would have still have the one available right um, and that's just once they're injured they're out they it doesn't necessarily need to happen and in most cases it probably doesn't but he was probably one of my best targets here your whole team has armor value seven or eight I mean and only he had armor value 7, and he has no dodge, so that was pretty important. 
But, yeah, you're doing the elf thing, and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing the runaway. <laughs> A little balance of the scales here. Yep. So... Let's do the dangerous stuff first. Yep, and that's just how it can go. It looked really good for me, and oh... Now it might be looking better again. You do still have your reroll, though. That's why I pushed it. Because I had the reroll. Yep. Now. Let's do some dumb things. Uh, always fun. Good enough. Okay, so now things get interesting. You see, your movement advantage, I think, trumps my armor advantage. It depends. If it comes down to bashing, you should have the upper hand, but um, at least if not, it, it, it's, it's hard to say, I think. Both have their merits and problems with it. Okay. Like, I guess my point of view is your movement is your movement. There are no, there are no variables. Yeah, okay, I, can, I, 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 I see what you mean. You know, your movement is eight, and you don't have to roll to get the seventh or eighth step. You box cars on a hit, I get, I get hit, or broke. It don't matter what my armor is. Yep, that is true. Okay, so I will do try to do this a little bit more risky, because I want to be able to pick up the ball afterwards if I manage to get it free. Uh, yeah, but I should, should probably still do it like this. Nope, let's... If I go for it, I might as well go for it right away. What the hell? There's five going for it's displayed on my end here. Uh. That looked like... Yeah, now it's better. That looked like a graphic glitch or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I redid it anyways just to be on the safe side. Okay. Well... well that worked out for you. Not the player I wanted it to be on, but it's it's probably still fine. Oh, yeah, might as well. Oh, of course. Yep, that's where I got too greedy. Well, if it's any consolation, I encourage you to keep taking chances. <laughs> I've, I don't doubt it. Okay, let's do this. Be the hero the Wood Elves deserve. <laughs> I tried that against Rob last time, and I like to play risky, but it really didn't work out too well. There was a lot of leaping involved. I watched it, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> it was a fun match, and uh, he, he did win deservedly. It wasn't one of my better matches, I think. I'm pretty sure he felt bad about having to use the stall strategy, but it makes the best sense. Yeah, that's that's why I said it and repeatedly uh, said it, because I, I didn't want to, to sound sarcastic or something like that. I just wanted to make sure that he... That it's it's especially in a league, and I did say that I, I do have the competitive mindset for, for a league, so I can perfectly understand that he's doing it. Even though I'm not a fan of the strategy, I might do it myself if it comes down to that. Especially at more in, at the end of a match than at the beginning, but uh, still, it, it did make a lot of sense. It was the right move on his part, and that's why I did it. Oh, it's the loner. That's the problem here. <laughs> well, at least I did most of the smart things first. Yep. I st stood the one guy. See, I had planned on blitzing with the guy laying down. Yep, makes sense. Okay, so this might work out for me after all. At least in the sense that I could feed the touchdown to uh, Pi. We'll see.
Hmm. Okay, so what I'm not sure about for the next season is what the setup should be once again. Because we could just go for a big group of eight players. Or we could make two groups of four. And basically have a League 1 and a League 2 or something like that. The ladder system versus the the round robin. Well, it would still be round robin, but in two groups. And so basically the first two of group 2 could basically advance into group 1. And the first then the last two of group 1 could go down so that we have a little bit of rotation. That would also that would mean shorter seasons again because it's only three matches again. Um but and well, it would keep the players apart. I don't know if I if I'm too big of a fan of that, but it could be it's at least one of the ideas I have at the moment that we could try to 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 do. But I I, I will post something about it in the next days and uh, we'll come up with a system with uh, that everyone can work with, I think. The the one issue I think with the round robin and eight players is that's going to be eight weeks. Yep. And when you're doing between seven and 14 days between a game, eight times two weeks is 16 weeks. Yeah, it could take a long time, but I, I wouldn't really, it wouldn't really matter to me too much, uh, to be honest. Well, I think that's what's worked against the Crandorian is they had 10 people round robin. Yeah, but it's also 10 YouTubers on top of everything. Uh, right. So they had to coordinate stuff uh, even more than we probably do. I might be wrong on that, but... Also, there were some people in that uh, that I think basically played Blood Bowl for the for the tournament. And not really like we do because we actually play the game. It's 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 hard to... That's why 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 I brought it up. I, I I do like the input here because I don't want to dictate stuff, and I really can't dictate stuff. It doesn't really work like that. It only works if everyone's happy with what we're doing. The problem with a ladder is that what is it kind of a if you lose, you're out, right? Uh, no, I I would still keep it as round robin, but just have it in two groups. So basically, like we do now, and just add a second group, and then we would have to work out some, or we could maybe then do, um, always keep keep uh, two random groups, or, and then make a, um, basically a final match once uh, between right. the first two of each group. Uh, so round robin plus uh, finals, basically. Or it could just be like uh, a league setting in any other sport where you have the, the first league, basically, and then um, the first two or the first one does advance at the end of a season and the last one or last two go down a group. Uh, that's what one of the leagues I played in did uh, a lot. Well, if you do the round robin, whoever wins their division, as it were, yep. plays off against whoever wins the other division... I think that might be interesting. Yeah, I, I, I like that system too, and it, it's the system that uh, was used in the league I played the longest in. It was one of the biggest German leagues, I think, and they had two groups uh, in, in League 1, basically, or in that Division 1 and 2, and the first two just played each other as a, as a final, basically. And before the, the league-wide reset... Uh, it was won four times in a row or so by a Chaos team, because it, Chaos is just annoying. <laughs> the problem is that to get the guy handled them very well, and he didn't get any... Just, his players weren't destroyed, so he could dominate really heavily. It's the problem with Chaos. Once they reach team value 2,200 or 400 or something like that, they, they can't be stopped other by other claw teams. It's just really unfortunate. I know it's going to sound stupid, but the best thing I found to go against a high-value team of Chaos is a very low-value team of anybody else because you get so many inducements 
that you might lose the game, but you can su cause a lot of suffering. Uh, yeah, that can actually work, and you can get uh, very good star players like that, like Morgan Thork, who's really good. Uh, it's the Ogre star player, I think, and he's available to every team, so everyone can get him. Right. And he's not stupid. He's got strength 6, agility 3, I think, and stuff like he that. He has armor 10. Yep. Uh, he also I has block and mighty blow, if I remember correctly. I've got him killed more than I'd like to admit. It, it happens. He's a really big target. Oh, boy, you don't get the dodge rolls here at all. Ah, uh, it is what it is. Okay, so I, I, I should score now, though. Let's try for one last block first. Oh, yep, that's happens. that happens when you try that. <laughs> That's always the, the the greed that I keep mentioning. I didn't need to take the... Well, nope, I don't. I want you to use all your movement like that. Um, it is what it is with the blocking. So I'm down to one reroll, and you still have... How many? I my the, the Skype overlay is over your rerolls for me, so I don't really see them. I have one reroll. Okay, so you've got one as well. But you do have the player I advantage. I do. For a little while. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't put my thrower up in the front there. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> he could die. Oh yeah, and I'm down to 10 players, so this setup won't work as well as I assumed, so I need to change it. Um, I forgot about that already. But that's fine. With well, as strong as your team is, it kind of almost doesn't matter. Well, you're, you're still elves and are faster than usual team, so you can score in two turns without too much trouble. And that's at least something I have to take into account and why I wanted to close the sidelines, but I really can't too much. Even if High Elves are a little bit slower than other Elf teams. Well, okay, yeah, with your team, you only have one player with movement allowance 7 right now, because you don't have any catchers yet. Uh, but still. Like this. Okay, yeah, and I'm I'm really looking forward to to seeing what the the new guys will be and what they will play. Though we so far we're really agility heavy, of course, uh, with the one hybrid team in the mix. So I don't know, maybe we'll get a little bit more more bash teams in. I assume we will get Norse. <laughs> At least one team, I think. They should come out in, in two days now. Really? Yeah, at the, uh, well, yeah, we do record this on the 1st of May, and they should come out on the 3rd, as far as I know. They did announce uh, that officially. Were, yeah, Rob and I were talking about that yesterday, how weren't they supposed to come out in February? Uh, yeah. Oh, we both gain a turn. Um, I don't know well, what the some... initial information was. The last big one, I think they said, was mid-March. I don't know if they made any, um, any official statements prior to that. Um, but they might have. It, it's, it would sound like cyanide. They tend to do stuff like that. Oh, another one. Ah, you go ahead and have it. <laughs> Thanks. That was an amazing kick. 
Uh, that was a whole lot of luck because I, I, I kicked where I always kick, which is just in the middle and seven spaces in. Uh, so I got really lucky there. It's just the, 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 the throw or the handoff was a little bit unfortunate. Hmm. I mean, this is still a little bit of a weird situation to be in. Oh, there's a one. I might as well take my last reroll, I think. Um. Okay, let's see. Okay, so do you want once you get your uh, the the computer stuff and all of that sorted out and you get back to your own account, do you, will you go with high elves again or do you want to change your team? It's nothing would stop you from from doing that. I don't know, but I probably will be once this this move starts. I'll probably be offline for about three weeks. Okay. So you may end up actually starting the uh, schedule without me. Well, we, I think we'll we'll have to sort it out then, because I, I would like to start with everyone there. Actually, it could be a bit on uh, not so good otherwise. I think. So I, I don't have a problem waiting a few weeks if it comes down to that. Uh, so. It will be what it will be, or we just start, and then we'll just have to wait until you can get, uh, can get back up. At least that's what my preference would be with that. I cannot get a knockdown. Okay, so I did talk with Rob in our last match, I think, with his, for because of the match between him and and Srap. Yeah. That um, I think we ca uh, what we ended with was that he will, um, they will try to schedule the match when one of us can um, can record them playing, basically. Well, I figured uh, it would be used to ensure in the t same time area they are. Yep, that's. I, I, I think so as well. It's it's a much more likely that I will be able to. If we if it doesn't work out, it's it's a bit unfortunate, um, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. I, I would like for us to to be able to see that last match though, and I. Well, the I, other, go ahead. The other side of that coin is is we can always go back and watch it on the Cabal replay. Yep. And record the replay. That is true. So yeah, we, we won't miss it completely. We do have the option to, to always record the replay. That is true. Okay, so how do I do this best? Um, you try to throw the ball now, allowing me to intercept and have some decorum of dignity. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> I'll try the Wood Elfie Butcher Bullshit. Hey, but if this fails, I mean, you do still get your turn eight, so I need to position yeah. my players at least. I don't have anybody in scoring range. But you could still hurt me. My sound went out there for a second. What did you say? I said you, you could still hurt me, in theory at least. Oh. Uh. Okay, let's see. Nope, can't make it a lot better than this, so let's see. 
You throw a six and I'm not one. <laughs> Yeah, that, that kick uh, really was pretty lucky there. It was just horrible for you. Eh. It's uh, the theme of this uh, league play for me. Yeah, it, it can only go up from here, basically. And then three guys die. <laughs> I did play in a smaller league once um, where I played Underworld. I don't know if you are familiar with the team. No. Uh, it's basically a mix of Skaven and Goblin with mutations. You do have a Warpstone troll, which is basically just a troll, but with uh, mutations access. Oh god, that's one of your loners. Okay, he's KO'd. Um, so they, you can have goblins with two heads and stuff like that, uh, which is really fun. And I think I lost it, all of the matches in Season 1 except one where I tied the game or so. And in the second season, I came in first. It's just... it can happen. <laughs> and Underworld is a really fun team as well. They do have some nice mechanics. And more mutation that is a little bit more not chaosy is always a good thing. Because you do get Skaven Blitzers that with Claw without doubles. So you can right. go hunt uh, Chaos Warriors and stuff like that. I they am playing a Skaven team, and they're getting a lot of mutations. And I've been picking up things that aren't combat, like linemen with prehensile tail, or... I, f I don't even remember all what I've picked. Yeah, there are a but lot of good skills in the mutation category. Hey, an oh. offensive action that worked. <laughs> it's Christmas. Unbelievable. I know. And just for the giggles of it. <laughs> oh, trying for a pass? Well, I already threw the pass. We do a handoff. Oh, yeah. Then we'll run that guy over there because of reasons. <laughs> I'll confuse the uh, people in the stands. And I'll click in turn a second time. All right. Okay, let's see. My KO stays out. Yours has a higher chance of coming back, though. Yep, there it is. So you're, you do have a two-player advantage right now. I'm sure I'll squander it. We'll see. <sighs> I am a fleshman. <laughs> you ever heard of the Murphy's Law? Yep. Yeah, well, there's a Fleshman, my family name, amendment that says not only what will go wrong or can go wrong will go wrong, but the Fleshman amendment says to the worst degree possible. Okay. That sounds horrible. <laughs> like, sure, you could wreck the car, but if you were a Fleshman, it would explode, too. Yeah. Ah, it's not that bad. Another oh. good kick. Yeah, that does look very close again. I that but almost at never this, happens. At least this time. And the scatter was bad. If it would have scattered in my half, you would have gotten a touchback. As long as it isn't bugged, that was bugged in Blood Bowl One, or the Chaos Edition. I don't know if they ever fixed that. I can at least defend the ball now. Yep, you do. You can build a cage around that. Yeah, let's see if you can increase your player advantage here. I mean, what, what is really working for the Wood Elves is that I can play extremely aggressive thanks to the War Dancers. I can just leap into your cage and possibly still get a one dice block. But it's also so risky to do that. Especially if I have to do it more than once. Well, you have a reroll advantage as well yeah but I, I will luckily luckily I was able to get the third reroll after uh, Rob's in my match last week oh 
What I think is pretty funny and also speaks for the motivation of everybody is that even though we did set a two-week uh, match day curve, basically, so far we've had one match per week, basically. Oh, yeah, I've been pretty happy about that myself. Yep. I it's I, I did set the two-week um, schedule mostly because of myself so that I, if ever something comes up, the time would be there, but it's it's... Nice to see that everyone is really motivated and, and keeping things flowing at a nice pace. Right now, the only thing I'm trying to do is make as many passes with my High Lord so I can continue to be at the top of the passing list. <laughs> I have to take our minor victories where we can get them. Yep. Oh, come on. That's not nice. Yeah, double skulls are never fun. Yep, and there's the, the second time. So, uh, what makes you matter? Double skulls or double ones? I think double ones. Usually. You know, same for me. It's mainly because they have a usually a bigger impact with double skulls. At least if you're two dicing. And you have a reroll available. It's un quadruple skulls is the worst, uh, the worst. And I think I've seen six skulls in a row happen with a three dice, but only once, and that's even worse than everything else. Uh, wow, that's. But double that's ones. Wanted. Well, they're they're really annoying for agility teams, of course. But there are. It's usually not too bad. Usually. I may be wrong. But off the top of my head, I think three skulls is one in 256. I really don't know the math behind that. Oh, of course. What? And that was your <laughs> blitzer. Oh, crap. Well, it is your last match, so it's not too bad, probably, but still. Holy crap. Um... Hey, he's just become a human catcher. It's cool. <laughs> Basically. Well, the original human catchers only have ammo value 7. They buffed that for Blood Bowl 2. Did they always have a strength 2 as well? Oh, uh, yes, they do. And I think they lowered the cost of the ogre as well by by 10k or something like that. They made some weird changes with, the, with Blood Bowl 2 um, for whatever reason. They did change the orc team as well. My first knockdown on a war dancer. Yep. It's a good one, though. That's why Apparently I don't want is. them to be knocked down. Yep, so he's out for the match. He's the he's the mean one. He did his job. He inflicted one yeah, injury. Yeah, he, <laughs> he killed the starred player. I think the, the, the law or the, the logic behind the uh, you can't use apothecaries on star players is pretty funny, though. I think it's that they usually have their own apothecaries and they don't want to be treated by mundane um, doctors, doctors or something like that. And that's, nice. It's, 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 a, it's a fun explanation, at least, why that isn't possible. Oh, come on. You really <laughs> are not blessed with two plus rolls today. Luckily, I was just wise enough to remember to do it at the end. Yep. That's Blood Bowl one-on-one, -on -one, basically. You, you need to prioritize the safe moves over the risky ones, if you can afford to. <sighs> so I need, really need to get my, my ward answer over there, so I probably won't be able to block now. I need to dodge. At least assuming I can make something somewhat meaningful happen here. Let's see if he can repeat his injury. Doesn't look like it, okay. But that's fine. 
horned antler helmets are kind of funny. I like them. I, I really like the look of the Wooded of Teams, even though uh, Rob pointed it out as well. The war dancers have the wrong gender. They should be female. Okay. At least uh, traditionally, the war dancers are female and not male. I really don't know why they changed that for Blood Bowl 2. So I am now skillless. Well, you do have your thrower. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to try to make you linemanless. <laughs> As long as you don't go after my second board answer. Well, I tell you what, you put him up there enjoying a McGurky shake or whatever the, the joke is, we'll leave him alone. Oh. See if we can put him outside for a little bit. Oh. Nope. <laughs> really? So I'm not the only one that can throw double skulls. But that timing was not so nice. Hmm. It's like I tell people when I play them. I swear, man, I'm not this bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I might be much better, but I'm not this bad. Okay, let's see uh, what I can do here. I mean, it's not like I most likely will be able to pick up the ball afterwards, but at least I do get a shot at um, taking it from you. Oh, hello. I mean, I need to try with block and dodge. He's got a decent chance of keeping the ball. Unfortunately, if this works out, I think I'm going to have to be a little ugly. <laughs> you want to step on somebody? I believe it's going to happen. <laughs> well, I do still have my apothecary. But I did not get lucky enough. Yep, unfortunately. Oh boy. Yep. You may get out, but it won't be easy. <laughs> oh, well, I, I know it's not Dutch. I, it's pass. I can't get used to the icons. It's just not happening. I always mix them up at some point. So I was joking with oh. Rob one game. I want to make a full chaos team with nothing but beastmen, and they all get uh, tentacles. 
and call it aggressive dating. <laughs> that could work, in theory. I'm thinking it would work kind of like backwards Fen. The problem with Tentacle is, is that it's strength-based. Uh, at least from if we look at it from... that, It would be really funny, of course, but from a, at least from a gameplay standpoint, it... it it depends on the opponent, I guess, mostly, because it's it's strength based and strength three is not that high. But it could well, see, the thing work was, on a regular basis still. I was thinking was when you try to get away from two people with tentacles, don't you have to beat both of them? I don't know to be honest. I've never been in that situation so far, I think. So I really don't know uh, about that. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go out there. This game just seems to flat out refuse to help me. <laughs> yeah, it, if I make my dodges, it gets increasingly worse for you, I think. Oh, and I did not even get to blitz. Okay, so I might as well blitz here. Okay. So, even though it's there's still three turns, I think it's pretty likely that I'm going to win. So, it will come down to the match between uh, Tim and Rob, uh, who will be the overall winner in the end. If Rob wins, it's just over because he's the only one with, uh, with two wins so far. Right. All he needs is a tie to, to win the first season, basically. But if, if uh, Srab manages to win... Oh, hello. That catch is a bit unfortunate, though, again, because you can't get the ball away. True. Uh, but I also really can't reach him. <laughs> But if, if Srab wins, things get a little bit more interesting, because we do have three players with six points then. And I really don't know what the tiebreaker is in Blood Bowl 2 yet. I need to look that up. Would it not be whoever scored the most? Um, yeah, it, it's either who scored the most, who has the best differential, I think. So scored against... Um, gotten? I... I'm missing a word here once again, but... I get what you're saying. Yeah. Whoever scored the most minus what they got scored against. Yep. I think um, this game uses sustain. Yep, that's the word. It might also have... It might be influenced by the direct comparison, so who won against whom. Uh, so that... Everyone won against me. Yeah, I mean, I mean among our three... <laughs> Uh, you can't no. see him grinning. Okay. You think the lizards came out so strong because they're so different? Might be. I think also that Rob is a really good player and he, he knows his stuff. Uh, that does help him a lot, I think. But it's also, at least against me... Um, he did beat me up pretty bad, and I tend to... Historically, I have a lot of trouble against Lizardmen with elf teams. It's hard to, to deal with their strength four, and elves can't bash that well, so it's hard to, to gain the upper hand against them. Right. At least that's where, where I struggled a lot. Okay, so I can't get your ball carrier, I think. Let's try this. Oh, better than nothing. Good enough. Yep, more than good enough. <laughs> All right. So, 
So how did your match against Rob go? I, I don't really remember. Um, what was the the problem there? KO Palooza. Okay, so he just outbashed you. Um. Also, I got the multitude of ones that I've been getting. I mean... Oh, come on. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit Plus, A. I forgot to rate the uh, recording equipment. That was another thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've not had any luck with the recording for the league. Yeah, let's let's just hope that that once you you have the the, the new setup, basically uh, things go smoother. May may uh, do you want to record still on two devices or do you want to go down to one? Well, see, I've I've been recording on one. The problem is is that the way the sound system is set up, if I turn the in-house volume up too much, then the microphone gets a uh, it gets a an echo. Okay. Because the TV, the TV is putting out your voice. Yep. Oh, and the game. God. Yet more skulls. I get the ones, you get the skulls. Yep. I think that was the third skulls we had, or something like that. The trick is, is the program we're using is Bandicam. Yep. And... Bandy cam, you have to turn on or off the microphone depending on how you want to use it. Okay. So it records the game and the microphone as one track. Yep. And since I don't record normally, I have it all. But the microphone's going to work with Skype no matter what. Mm hmm. And that's where I'm coming into my issues. Yep. Makes sense. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm doing my best here to, to keep you from picking up the ball. You know, I don't consider myself to be a very salty person. But I have to admit, dude, you can't even let me have the, the pity throw. I'm sorry. I mean, you do still have a chance here. It's, <laughs> but it's it's what I've said. I I do have the mindset, and I do still see the chance for myself to score again. So I, that's why I need to do it, even though it's probably not the nicest thing. So sorry. That's all right. I whine. I'm better. <laughs> Let's see if we can walk this bastard out, though. Yep. Catch it. I don't. Uh, it ca you should care because you can't throw. Ah. Uh, but you do get the knockdown again. Every one that I knock down gets KO'd. <laughs> so good thing you didn't get a whole lot of knockdowns. Oh, let's cage on the very last turn. Oh, boo, boo. I can't throw it. <laughs> I can't make another block. Yeah, and I can't no, get the ball away from you to score. Probably. Well, I mean, you have a slight chance. Yeah, let's, I mean, it's probably not the best way to handle it. Okay, yep, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't I have, I only had five down. players left there or something like that, or six. Hey, there was a fork in the stand. Beating on drums. Yeah, the rhythm section. Sure, I'll buy this guy. I don't. Yep. Turn down. Turn down. Oh. I bought the guy who got MVP. Yeah, I have to turn down the guy that got the MVP, so I lose out on that. It happens. I did make two passes. I inflicted four KOs. I don't know, man. I just could not get going forward at all. 
It happens, unfortunately. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen. You have nineteen SPP. Well, I did lose out I on did. the MVP, though. Uh, let me validate well. the match real quick. Even though it probably won't matter too much for you anymore, I don't know if I have any. I do have one level up at least, which we can. I do too. Which we can record here. Sure. So let me validate. Okay, it's in. So you should be able to do your level up. Well, mine is my loner. Yep. And. He's not so alone anymore. I got a five. So. Since it doesn't matter, uh, I'm going to give him block anyways. Okay. Oh, God. Yep. And I have to do it again. Why's that? My other war dancer leveled up. And he rolled a double again. Okay. I I wanted to go strip ball, as with the other one, uh, but I can't ignore a double. And the only double you really want to take is Mighty Blow as a first one. So both He's of my war dancers have up. Mighty Blow now. Is he the only one that leveled up? Yep. I'm looking at anything, at, at every, at the other skills, but I think it's just the best choice, and it's not one I can ignore. What? I think you're right. I mean, you could always get strip ball next. Yep. So this is... A, it's it's a luxury problem, obviously, but... I still... I, I let's, let's not complain about it. It's, it's really nice to have. So that's a, a good setup for, for the next season start. So I have sustained eight casualties, 11 KOs, and two deaths. Sustained? Okay, I've sustained I mean, five it, casualties, but, nine KOs, and zero deaths. Now, where it says injured players, what's your number? Uh, 35. I have 28. I don't know if that means we got injured or we did the injuries. I don't know how that one works. I think that's just basically armor breaks. Um, okay. And that is sustained, I think. Because on page one, you do have injuries inflicted. Yeah, I have 11. Yeah, I've got 16 in total. That's the kind of stuff I think is interesting about this. Yep. Oh, only two KOs inflicted. <laughs> That's all. So how many successful blocks did you have? It's on page two. Block succeeded 76. Okay, I'm at 86, so that's not too far off. But I scored no score this entire oh, low league. That's, that's really unfortunate. It's... And I only inflicted two casualties. Okay, so I've inflicted five casualties, and two of those were kills. Or I, I don't know if even if the I, I pushed uh, Srap's um, runner off the pitch. I don't even know if that counts as an um, inflicted no. casualty, because uh, I don't get any SPP for it. That's right. If you don't do it, if the crowd does it, they get it. Yeah, but the, I think the kill still counts as mine. I don't know. I do have the only interception so far. <laughs> At least there's that. All right, well, I had fun. I hope you did. Yes, uh, thanks for the match, even though it, it just basically made things a bit worse for you. I, I hope you, you still enjoyed it a little bit. I do. I okay. like the game, even that, when it goes bad. That That's good. So, yeah, we will still need to check out um, when Rob and uh, Srap are playing their game. And maybe we can get to... If you have the time, it depends on when they will play. Maybe we can get together in Skype and commentate on, on their doings. That would be a lot of fun. Okay. Good. So, yeah, thanks for the match. Be well. You too. <laughs> All right, so I ended my recording. Okay, uh, give me a moment here. Okay, and we're back here. Um, 
we finished our scab call. We, we talked a little bit afterwards and, um, yeah, basically the usual stuff. So that was match three for our Wood Elves in the Wreckhoff League. And now there's only one match left to be played. Um, and that is between Rob and Tim. At the moment, Rob is in first place, followed by me. Then we have uh, Tim and then Dave, who unfortunately lost all of his matches. So it looks like so far that um, Rob will win the season. But if Tim manages to win, things might look different. As I've mentioned, I don't know what the tiebreaker is. So we'll have to wait and see once they play their match and we'll do our best to record the match live and maybe get in skype with them if they want to uh, if not we'll I'll, I'll or dave do recording of the replay and that way you can all you all get to see the match uh, after all okay yeah but that's it for today i hope you enjoyed match day three of the wreck of league if you did please leave a like and a comment and if you want to See the second season coming in future weeks. Just subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.